In this video, we are going to demonstrate Mixage's loop and effect section as well as further useful adjustments. Creating a beat precise loop with Mixage is a cakewalk. Simply press this loop button here in order to activate and deactivate a loop. As soon as this button is activated and illuminated, the track will automatically turn to a seamless loop. The loop's length can be adjusted comfortably with this loop length encoder. A loop length from 132 up to 32 bars is selectable. The loop's length can be adjusted during a loop or before. By pressing the loop encoder, the loop can be activated at any point in a track. With activated shift, Tractor Pro users have two more functions at their disposal. During an activated loop, the beat loop can jump backward or forward bar-wise by using the same encoder. The jump size can be adjusted by pressing and turning the loop encoder. Of course, a manual loop is also possible. To do so, activate shift and press the loop in button to set a loop starting point and press the loop out button to set a loop ending point. Playback will then also pass to a seamless loop. To leave the loop, simply press the loop out button once again. Tractor Pro users can access up to four previously stored coupons and restore these respectively. With activated shift function, the transport section also serves as a cue point section. The four large trigger buttons invite you to fast trigger action. If no cue point is stored in a track, you can set new cue points by pressing the buttons. The next free cue point will be stored automatically. Thus set cue points can be triggered the same way now. Nothing is more fun than remixing your creative set live with effects. While Tractor LE is limited to three effects in Tractor Pro, there are several more effects at your disposal. To select an effect, simply press FX Select. Herewith, you can switch between the various effects. Have you found a suitable effect? Then activate it via the Effects On button. The dry-wet ratio can be adjusted steplessly with this encoder. This way you can slowly fade the effect in and out. Additionally, you can manipulate one more effect parameter with the amount dial. Depending on the effect, this is another interesting parameter which emphasizes the effect's color. The effect can be turned on and off at any time via the Effects On button. The second shift layer offers even more control possibilities. Here a deck filter for beautiful sweeps can be set. A turn to the left produces a low pass filter and a turn to the right produces a high pass filter. Pen. The deck's right-left balance can be adjusted with this dial. Key lock, also known to many as master tempo, can be activated with this button. And with the push of this button the master deck can be assigned. Visual feedback of all LED buttons will be updated automatically and always displays the current status. Last but not least, we take a look at a few more adjustment possibilities on the device's rear side. The jog wheel sensitivity can be adjusted steplessly via this small wheel from very sensitive to not sensitive at all. Depending on the background illumination, it is also possible to adjust the LED's brightness. To do so, turn the LED dimmer wheel. The shift lock feature is also very convenient. Depending on your requirements, you can switch the shift button to toggle or hold mode, thus only being active for as long as the button is being held or it is turned on and off. The MIDI channel switch has been integrated for DJs who like to mix in a team on one computer. This way, when two controllers are connected to one computer, they will not interfere with each other. Mappings for that can be downloaded from our support forum. 
Now you know everything you need to know as a master of digital mixing. Have fun and let the mix begin.